Do you have a small space in your home that is crying out to be brightened up with a plant? But you're worried that a plant will soon outgrow that space. Well, in this video, I've got 12 house plants that are perfect for small spaces. So these house plants are small, they're slow growing, so they maintain a compact shape and they don't take up too much space or light and take over your living spaces. Let's get straight to it. The first plant on my list is a relatively recent purchase for me and it's the Della Sperma Echinatum, otherwise known as the pickle plant. So I bought this in my recent Dobby's plant shopping video and it's a fantastic little plant that is perfect for small spaces in your home. This plant looks really interesting with distinctive spiky texture on the leaves and it's pretty slow grower too. Mine has not really got that much bigger since I bought it a couple of months ago. They're not variegated, which means that they don't require lots of light to thrive. So they'll do well in a medium light, which is about one or two meters away from a west facing window. The Diefenbachia compacta is another recent purchase for me that is a compact plant that will do well in small spaces. The more light you give this plant, the quicker it will grow. So you can keep it in a medium light position and it will remain fairly compact. I keep mine in front of an east facing window so it gets a couple of hours of morning sun each day and it's not really got much bigger than when I bought it. It's fairly easy to look after, just make sure you're giving it enough water and then just let it do its thing. The third plant on my list is officially my favorite plant and it's the Philodendron Birkin. So I love the pinstripe variegation in the leaves and the fact that the leaves come out all white but slowly turn green as it gets older, which is fascinating to me. Compared to other philodendrons, I think this plant is pretty slow growing and it will remain compact, so it's perfect for those smaller spaces in your home. I try to give this plant as much indirect light as possible to ensure that you don't lose the variegation in the leaves. Also, avoid giving the plant too much water, otherwise the new leaves that come out white will start to come out brown. Just let the plant dry out in between watering and you'll be fine. Another plant that is excellent for small spaces in your home is the Syngonium. So I've got two Syngonians in my collection. I've got a green Syngonium and a pink Syngonium. Both are fantastic little plants and they're generally unfussy. I've noticed that the green version is slightly more rigorous grower than the pink but it's not going to become unmanageable. My pink Syngonium in particular is a lovely little compact plant that sits happily on my fireplace mantle in my dining room here. I've had it over a year and it's not outgrown that space. Succulents are an excellent choice for small spaces because most succulents are very slow growers. So they won't outgrow the space you put them in. So the next plant on my list is the Echeveria. There are many different types of Echeverias out there and they are fantastic little plants. They have lovely thick leaves where they store their water. So just make sure not to give them too much water otherwise the leaves will start to turn mushy. Give this plant full sun if you can, but don't worry too much. If it's only in a medium light spot, they should still do fine. Echeverias tend to grow taller and shed their lower leaves, eventually looking a little bit leggy. So all this means is that they need cutting from their central stalk and repotting into the soil for the plant to regrow roots. Now this isn't as scary as it sounds and I have a video on the full process that you can check out after this. The sixth plant on my list is the Phytonia, or the nerve plant. This plant is usually sold as a very small plant and it will take years to become a much larger plant. They're normally very cheap and readily available in your local garden centers, so you shouldn't have any issues finding them. They're really lovely plants that come in various different shapes and colors, so you should be able to find one that suits your space. I personally really like the pattern on the leaves. They will work well as a little group of plants on top of a cabinet in the corner of a room that will complement a begonia very nicely, for example. I saw my next plant in my last IKEA shopping trip video and I fell in love with it. It's the Pachyphytum eviforum or the blue moonstone. So this is another type of succulent that is super slow growing. 
I fell in love with the shape of the thick leaves as well as the colouring on the plant. I think the plant looks like a collection of smooth stones you'd find on the beach. This plant is a very slow growing, unfussy plant, so long as you treat it in the same way as your other succulents. So it'll be a good option for smaller spaces. The eighth plant on my list is the begonia house plant. So I have a few begonias in my collection. I think they all look really interesting. They will work well in a small space because they don't really get that tall. Instead, they get bushier and a little wider as they get older. There are tons of different types of begonias, so you should be able to find one to suit your taste. They normally come with very distinctive multi-pattern leaves with bright colors that come out of the soil. They're pretty easy to care for. They tend to like having soil that is on the moist side and they will show you when they are thirsty by drooping their leaves. Other than this, you can put them in a spot and leave them to do their thing. The Peperomia santorini is a super compact house plant that will suit most small spaces. Like the Caparata and the Rosso, they don't grow to be very tall. They have lots of individual leaves and petioles that come out from the soil, giving it a nice bushy look. I found them to be easy to care for. They don't like to have wet feet, so be sparing with the water. But apart from that, they are pretty unfussy. I have a few peperomias in a little tight spot behind my sofa in my living room, and they've not outgrown that space. And I've had them a couple of years, so you should have no problems finding a space for one in your home. Jade plants are a very popular house plant and I think the main reason for this is because they are pretty trouble free and very slow growing. So they are 10th on my list. You can expect the stems of the plant to only put out about two or three inches of growth per year, which is really slow. So they can easily go in small spaces in your home without fear of them outgrowing that space. Jade plants are succulents, so they do prefer full sun but they will tolerate darker spots if you don't have a spot that gets full sun. It just means they won't grow as fast, which might suit you if you have a smaller space. The next plant on my list is another type of Peperomia and it's the Polybotria or the Peperomia raindrop. This is a plant that Ikea loves to sell and it's a really great plant that will work in most small spaces. The plant has these thick green glossy leaves that I think look really interesting. The plant doesn't grow to be more than a foot, so you don't have to worry about it outgrowing a small space in your home. So the plant is similar to a Chinese money plant, but personally I think the Peperomia raindrop is a nicer plant. I tend to prefer the thick glossy leaves to the leaves on a Chinese money plant. Like I've said, this plant is sat in quite a tight spot with my other peperomias behind my living room sofa and it's doing perfectly fine. Snake plants are ideal for small spaces because they are such slow growers and extremely unfussy. They will tolerate all light conditions from full sun to deep shade and will essentially just sit there and do its thing wherever you put it. Snake plants hardly need any watering, so they're really low maintenance. They're the perfect beginner house plant. There are many varieties out there that look really interesting. My personal favorite is the variegated one with yellow edging on the leaves that I've placed in my dining room mantle behind me. Snake plants are also really affordable and easy to find and you'll be able to find one that easily fits your space. And because it's so slow growing, it definitely won't outgrow that space either. Snake plants aren't the only type of plant that look great as well as being super affordable. And in this video here, I share with you 12 of the best affordable house plants you can buy on any budget to brighten up your home. Click on the link there. I'll see you there. And thank you very much for watching.